For these students at LaGuardia Community College, the title of father means everything. The CUNY Fatherhood Academy, a program that helps dads between the ages of 18 and 25 who want to get back to school. 25 year old George Perez is a graduate of the Academy. He wants to pursue a career as a social worker, helping others while providing a better life for his two daughters. Our goal here is to help them the best that we can through education, employment, and also personal development. Just want to make an impact uh, on the community. The Fatherhood Academy is looking for eligible students to join the program. For more information, call 718-730-7336. The Construction Administration Program just launched this spring as a collaboration between LaGuardia Community College, the City Department of Design and Construction, and the School Construction Authority. They're being exposed to the whole construction process. They're learning about uh, manual labor. They're learning about all of the elements of architecture construction, engineering. And perhaps most importantly, they're learning what happens behind the scenes in construction in back offices. Having this cadre of professionals that actually are going to the industry is very important for us to be able to accomplish the work that we wanted to do. The program was completely free for the students. People that I know in the construction field that paid thousands of dollars trying to get certifications, trying to get in certain different things. For me to be able to do this for free, is, is I'm truly grateful for. From here, the students will begin 42-week paid internships where they'll gain hands-on experience in the construction and design fields. This first session of the Opportunity Academy was just a pilot program, but the administrators say it's been so successful they hope to offer another class in the fall. This is 15-year-old Gabriela Schnitko's first baseball game. She's from Poland and just moved to Queens last month. She's one of 14 students from abroad participating in the Teen English Academy this summer. The course is at LaGuardia Community College, and it's a five-week intensive English class designed for teens like Schnitko, who just moved to the city or are visiting friends and family. The students are from Ecuador, Colombia, and Spain, just to name a few. We're using real-world things like TV shows, pop songs, talking a lot about Pokemon Go, talking a lot about about just things that are happening in New York City this summer. This game is all part of the curriculum. And this is just one out of five trips the group took to immerse themselves in local life and culture. I think the trips have been key. I think getting out of the classroom, getting into real world situations where people have to, you know, put money on their Metro card or buy a hot dog at the concession stand. And if you ask Shinitko, the course proved to be helpful. Yeah, I'm really happy because I know English word. I'm more confident in English. I meet really new friends. I saw many interesting new places. Next year, the goal is to reach even more students and teach them English through this interactive method. A LaGuardia Community College alum is using his photography skills to tell the story of his homeland. The exhibit is called The Other Side of Me. It's Zakaria Ahmed's photographic portrayal of Bangladesh. He immigrated to the U.S. in 2004 and he graduated from LaGuardia's commercial photography program. He now actually works at the college. The feedback that we've gotten is um, that he makes connection with all the individuals. This is my childhood and the uh, struggles of survival is for my people. And I always wanted to show it to others, like, okay, come and see my roots. Hey, the exhibit is on display through next month, Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. A new photo exhibit at LaGuardia Community College celebrates Panamanian culture. The 42 photographs are from part-time photography student Carl Barnett's trip to Panama back in the 80s. He took the photos using an antique camera. They feature local landmarks, food, and people. The exhibit is opening just in time for the Panama Canal's 102nd birthday. In doing the research for this exhibit, I realized how little I did see and how much I missed. He's one who basically shot because of passion and love. Um, aside from the fact of documentary where he, he's been at, uh, where he has visited, but more so because of the fact that it actually gives him a second life. The exhibit is also in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, which runs mid-September through mid-October. It'll be on display through the end of September.
A local school gets millions to give young adults a chance to go behind the screens of the tech world. LaGuardia Community College is the recipient of nearly $4 million. That's going to be used to train at-risk young adults how to work in high-tech jobs. LaGuardia is partnering with tech education companies like General Assembly, Udacity, and the Software Guild on the project. The school says that with the money, they'll be able to train about 300 people to work in high-demand fields like web development, network security, and more. For updates on the school's website at laguardia.edu.